Okay, so as soon as you click on this link, this is the one for Spanish, you'll be taken to this page where you can um, enroll in the course, and this will give you the access to, to make changes to the course as well. So if you already have an InStreamy account, you can sign in. If you don't, then you just create an account by following these steps here. Um, it's easiest through, through Facebook or Twitter, but you can also use an email or password. I'll sign in with my account. So now I'm signed into this, the Spanish sandbox, and you can see that um, by enrolling it made me a teacher since this is a sandbox course. Um, and you can see I have some examples here for you to learn from. So if you wanted to see the examples, uh, you just click on one of these modules here. So here you can see that this is just a really simple example of how to um, embed a video just to be played. So to do that, uh, it's just the URL of the video. So it's in streamy.com slash videos, then the, the video ID, and then view for just the view exercise. So if I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated, you can see in the other example, um, this one's live listening. So let's take a look at what this looks like within this content editor. You can see that it's just slash learn slash live listening. So it's that video ID slash learn slash live listening. So the, the actual glossary of all the exercises, and you can see that there's quite a few here that you can um, play with and, and see how those work. But the glossary is also in the, uh, the link is available. It's about that in streaming.com slash glossary. And here you can see what each of these does and how they work. And then also the, the, the uh, exact link that you have to copy into the editor in order to make it work. So again, in order to add exercises to a module, it's just going to be the exact URL of the actual learning module. So if I wanted to find new videos um, that are already exist in the Instreamia library, let's take a look at this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to add a video to the testing area, which is exactly what you'll be doing. So first of all, I'm going to have, have to find the video that I want to add. So I'm going to go to Explore. And there are a lot more Spanish videos than anything else because we've focused mostly on Spanish. But you can see um, there are a bunch of videos and we have categories as well. So if I wanted to add a children's video, um, and let's say that I wanted to learn Pinocchio. And here you can see that the, the exercises are also available here for me to just copy and paste in. So let's say I wanted to do um, random present tense conjugation for this exercise. So I would just select this and copy it. And I'm going to go back to my class tab. And then first of all, within this testing area, I'm going to click edit. And then I'm going to drag a new module from into a slot. So I'll just drag it there. And then it makes it for me. So I click save. And now I click on that new module. And I'm going to name it Scott's module. That way if any other teachers come, they can see it. And now I'm going to just paste in that exact URL. So again, you can see um, that it's just the, the video and then the video ID and then learn random present tense conjugation. So if I were to change this video ID to a different number, I would get a different video. and I would still do the same exercise. So it's a combination of the exercise and the video. So let's save that. And you can see now that I, now I have um, Pinocchio random present tense conjugation. So if I click on that, you can see it loads up um, based on the, the verbs in that video, uh, some, some videos. So frotar uh, for nosotros in the present indicative tense would be frotamos. And so this is what your students would be doing. Dar cuenta, again in the present indicative, this is all present tense, so it's going to be always present indicative. Um, el dar cuenta would be da cuenta. So you can see, and you can kind of preview the exercise that your students will be doing by just clicking in the, in the same spot that your students will. And so that's how I made one exercise. So let's just make one more. So I'll go back to Explore to find another video. Um, and let's do this one, Babula, la cigarra y la hormiga. So this time I'm going to choose live reading. It's going to be the exercise that I pick. 
So I just copy this, go back to class. Now I'm going to click edit again, and I'm going to paste it. So now I have live reading here as well. So I can click on that. La cigarra y la hormiga. And you can see now that for this exercise, it, it happens to be that it's going to highlight a word for me and I have to choose the meaning of it in context. So cigarra is a, is a cicada. Oir is here. So that's kind of the... Una tarde de ver. So that's basically how you'll use the sandbox to, to play around with creating your own exercises. So again, I can go back and I can, I can add more modules and I can add other videos. Um, and, and that's what you can do with the sandbox. Have fun.